In this video, you will learn how to apply a cape skin on your OnePlus 7T. So, let's get started. To apply the skin, you will need two things. To be under bright lighting and patience. There are two types of capes OnePlus 70 skins. One is the glass back which only covers the glass back of the phone and the other is the full back which covers the back and sides of the phone. Depending on your order, a camera skin cutout, charger skin and logo skin cutout will be included. A trustworthy microfiber cloth will help you out in the application. You will also need a hairdryer for this installation. So pause the video until you get everything in place. Welcome back. First, use the microfiber cloth included in the package and give your phone a good cleaning. Now give your charger a good cleaning. Depending on your order, skip to the duration as per what you have ordered. So let's get started. Now take out the camera skin and align with your phone's camera as shown. Once perfectly aligned, apply some pressure on it. First, we are going to apply the glass back skin. Remove the skin from the 3M paper and reattach it as shown. Now, just align the camera cutout of the skin with the phone's camera, making sure the skin aligns perfectly straight with the glass edge at the top and apply some firm pressure on it. Now lift the skin from the bottom and rotate the 3M paper as shown. Make sure the skin is aligned perfectly on both corners. Now check the corners. If the skin overlaps on one side and the glass head is visible on the other side, then peel back the bottom skin and align again. Repeat this process until you align both the corners perfectly with the metal frame. Once done, apply some firm pressure on it. Now remove the 3M paper entirely. Smooth out the entire skin carefully. Now, get the hair dryer and blow it on one edge. Wrap the sides by using a thumb bit by bit as shown. Do the same for the other side. Rub all the edges 10 to 12 times with a microfiber cloth to make the skin blend into your phone. Wow, looks stunning, right? Say hello to your new OnePlus 70. Hello, so you went for the full back skin. Let's get started. Remove the skin from the 3M paper and reattach it as shown. Flip your phone upside down and align your skin perfectly with the same tray, charging port, the speaker holes and microphone holes. If you don't nail it in your first try, just remove it gently and try again. Once done, use your thumbs to apply pressure at the bottom. To avoid ugly air pockets at the curve, use the head dryer at the bottom and apply firm pressure bit by bit to make it look like this. Place your phone on a flat surface. Then remove the skin from 3M paper and reattach it as shown. Now align the skin with camera cutout and flash. If you mess it up, just peel back slowly and try again. Once perfectly aligned, apply firm pressure on it. Next, remove the 3M paper entirely and smoothen it out. Once done, use the head dryer on the top until the material softens up. And apply foam pressure bit by bit.
Repeat the process for the bottom. Now, heat the right side of the skin until it softens up. The trick to do it easily and securely is to apply pressure on the cutouts like this. Do the same for the left side. Heat up the corners and apply firm pressure on them while keeping the flaps untouched. Do the same for all four corners. The key to get a seamless feel is to align the corner here with the flap edge here. Heat the flap up until it softens up. Now, put firm pressure on a small part of the flap. Then continue heating and applying the flap until it's done. If you notice that the flap has overlapped, you have applied too much pressure. If you notice the flap is short and you see a gap, you have applied less pressure. Don't worry, just peel back the flap, heat it again and try again. Do this until you get a seamless feel. Any creases or ripples can be smoothed out by a trustworthy microfiber cloth after applying some heat on the skin. Now repeat this process for the other three flaps. Now if your attention span didn't allow you to remember everything, don't worry, just jump back. Finally, use a microfiber cloth and rub it edge to edge 10 to 12 times to give you a seamless feel. Now let's apply the logo skin. There are three logo skins included in every order. Just peel out the OnePlus logo individually, attach it to the back of the 3M paper and apply it as shown. What? This wasn't tough at all. Say hello to your new OnePlus 7D. Let's apply the charger skin. Remove the top piece from the 3M paper and align it with the USB port as shown. Once perfectly aligned, apply some pressure on it. In case you mess it up, just peel back slowly and apply again. Once aligned, apply some heat on the skin and apply pressure as shown. Now, let's apply the body piece skin. 
Remove the skin from the 3M paper and reattach it as shown. Now align it with the side edge as shown. Make sure it's straight or else the skin will be tilted. Once done, just apply pressure. Keep applying the skin until both edges are about to meet. Before connecting the last edge, give some heat to the flap. Once heated, apply the skin as shown. If you notice that the flap has overlap, you have applied too much pressure. If you notice the flap is short and you see a gap, you have applied less pressure. Don't worry, just peel back the flap, heat it again and try again. Do this until you get a seamless feel. Any creases or ripples can be smoothened out by a trustworthy microfiber cloth after applying some heat on the skin. Let's apply the USB cable skins. Begin with the Type-C connector. Remove the skin from the 3M paper and align it as shown. Once perfectly aligned, keep wrapping the skin until both edges meet. Before connecting the last edge, give some heat to the flap. Once heated, apply the skin as shown. Then continue heating and applying the flap until it's done. If you notice that the flap has overlap, you have applied too much pressure. If you notice the flap is short and you see a gap, you have applied less pressure. Don't worry, just peel back the flap, heat it again and try again. Do this until you get a seamless feel. Do the same for the USB connect. Wow, it's stunning right? Say hello to your new warp charger.